on behalf of the President of the United States, the Department of Defense, the Hancock County Memorial Squad, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for Raymond's honorable and faithful service. God bless you. God bless this family. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Prepare yourselves for rifle fire. before you today, we know that you understand what a difficult time this is for this family. It's hard for them to say goodbye to one who's meant so much to them. We pray, Lord, that you would be merciful to them. Father, we thank you for being here with us as we walk through the valley. We thank you and we praise you for your love, for your compassion, for the comfort that you've given us as we commit this body to earth. Father, we understand, we know that the spirit of this child, your child, has already been returned to you. And someday each of us will stand before you in judgment. Today, Father, we pray that you would help us to be ready for that day. Fill us with the peace of Jesus Christ, the comfort of the Holy Spirit, with your grace, with your power. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to share a poem with you today. It's Hold Us Up, Lord. I think it's appropriate on days like this at times like this. It's written by Linda Elrod. Lord, we know you're always busy for you have so many things to do. But when sorrow overcomes us, well, we need to talk to you. For we've lost someone precious, and they're with you now, there above. And it's someone that we needed, and it's someone that we love. We're feeling lost and all alone, and though we do believe, we need you, Lord, to hold us up, to help us while we grieve. Please give us strength and courage, Lord, to bear what we must bear and nudge us when our faith is weak to remind us you are there. Give us hope for our tomorrows 
Tell us life will still go on. Show us, Lord, that all this darkness will be followed by the dawn. You've led us through so many things. You've pulled us through before. Hold us up, Lord, till we're through this. And we are strong once more. Now with the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, Raymond J. Jameson, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, for they shall rest from their labors, and their work shall follow them. Let us pray. Lord our God, we are grateful to know you as our Heavenly Father, to know your love, to know your care for us. We thank you today for sending Jesus Christ, your Son, to be our Savior, to experience suffering and death so that he might better understand our present need. Lord, we pray for each member of this family. We pray for your blessings on them. Comfort them with your Holy Spirit. Grant them strength. Grant them wisdom in the decisions and the adjustments that lie before them. We pray that you'll ease the pain that's in their hearts today. We thank you for those who have gathered here to share this time. We ask that you would bless each of them according to their needs. We're grateful, Lord, for the life of this friend, this loved one, and all that he's done for you and all that he's done for others. We thank you for the heritage of love and faith that goes with this family. Grant them the grace to accept these gifts and the courage to use them. Draw near to us, God, that we might draw near to you. Help us to be people of faith, to live lives that are pleasing to you. We offer this prayer in the name of the risen Christ. Amen. Go now with God's peace. Go in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sir,